God bless you. Bishop Wood here. Pray that you're doing well today. I want to invite you to join me tonight here at the Upper Room for Bible study. Listen, we don't have a, um, a guest uh, psalmist tonight. We don't have any of the hoopla and all of the things that we have for conferences. It's just us. We're here studying the word of the Lord together. God wants to know, how bad do you want to know me? Now, we're going to walk through the word of the Lord. and I'm going to be talking about being faithful in the face of eclecticism. Do you not know this is an eclectic world in which we live and people are mixing religions, mixing ideologies, putting things together that really don't go together and coming up with their own worldview? Well, Christ has called us to serve him him and to be faithful to this book and friends I'm excited about the God of the Bible and I'm excited about teaching the word of the Lord to you tonight and with all the things that are going on and by the way we're praying for the victims of a hurricane Harvey and not only are we praying but we are organizing an effort to be able to send the, uh, goods and, and money and things that way to help the people who have been uh, victims of this tragic uh, storm. I'm grateful though as I watch the news, as I see people helping people. Now isn't it amazing? Just a week or so ago when the media covered Charlottesville, uh, Virginia, you would think that the country is about to rip apart and the white people and the black people and we're all getting ready to kill each other because I hate you because your color is not mine and you hate me because my color is not yours. And what happens to dispel Charlottesville, to put Charlottesville in its place? Harvey comes to town, a disaster, a storm. And what do we see in the aftermath of the storm? We see Americans, we see people not checking to see whether you're black or white, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're legal or illegal, whether you are Christian or Jew, but people are just helping people. People are coming in with their boats. Volunteers are coming in from out of town. Yes, here in America. Volunteers are coming in from out of town to go out and hazard their lives to save others. Do you not know that there have been professional first responders and people who do these things for a living who have lost their lives trying to save people and yet there's a line of Americans lined up with their cars and their boats and their, their trucks to, to, to go in and to try and help people. I've seen images of, uh, of uh, black rescuers br bringing white people out, white rescuers bringing black people out, uh, Hispanic people being rescued, Hispanic people rescuing people, helping people. Just a few days ago, you would think that the whole country is about to explode. I thank the God of the Bible. I'm, I thank God. I, I hate that this storm has hit. My, my prayer and funding and efforts will go to help those who have lost everything. But again, I see another reason why I'm proud of this nation and proud to be called an American because when it counts the most, what do we do? We lay aside our differences and we, we put our shoulders to the plow and we get in there and we help our fellow citizens. What a great country this is. We're going to study the word of God tonight together. Come on out and let's be blessed by the God of the Bible. I'll see you tonight.